how many of you have heard that, you know, according to the theory of evolution, we share about 98% of our genetic makeup with chimpanzees? Have you heard that in school? You, have you ever heard how they came to that number? 98%? We've all just heard it, right? We share 98% of our genome with chimps. Okay, the video I'm about to show you is not from a Kent Hovind or a creationist. It's from somebody who believes in evolution, somebody who believes we came from chimpanzees, but actually acknowledging how we got the 98%. Check this out. When researchers sat down to compare the chimp and human genomes, those single letter differences were easy to tally, but the big mismatch sections weren't. For example, if a genetic paragraph thousands of letters long appears twice in a human scroll, but only once in its chimp counterpart, should that second human copy count as thousands of changes or just one? And what about identical paragraphs that appear in both genomes, but in different places or in reverse order? were broken up into pieces. Rather than monkey around with these difficult questions, the researchers simply excluded all the large mismatch sections, a whopping 1.3 billion letters in all, and performed a letter-by-letter -letter comparison on the remaining 2.4 billion, which turned out to be 98.77% identical. So yes, we share 99% of our DNA with chimps if we ignore 18% of their genome and 25% of ours. <laughs> but that's what passes for science. Does that sound completely absurd to you? Oh yeah, we just, you know, one point whatever, four billion letters, let's throw those out. Hey, we're 98% the same. What? That's insane. But that's in college level science books being passed off as fact. Guys, that's outrageous. How we can continue to tolerate such absolute absurdity, it's beyond me.